Hello, this is Kate, and this is your weekly oracle card reading for Monday through to this Sunday. So the first card is going to represent the beginning of the week, so Monday, Tuesday. And we've got the Nine of Discs. I'm just going to try to zoom in on this card. So the Nine of Discs is a card of luxury. So it's all about enjoying the fruits of your labor and just taking um, kind of material pleasure in, in life in general. So you really, if you're working really hard, you really want to make sure um, to really take time to enjoy the fruits of your labors. Because if you can't enjoy things, then there's not a lot of point to working really hard. So you really want to make sure that you kind of enjoy things and and maybe even just kind of slow your life down a little bit at the beginning of the week and kind of stop and smell the roses and and um, and just sort of be a little more um, vigilant about all the kind of nice pleasurable things that you have in your life and, and just making a point to really notice those things. So this card is all about um, kind of kicking back, relaxing, and really taking pleasure and taking delight in, in things like good food and um, rest and relaxation. Okay, so moving on to the middle of the week. And we've got strength. And strength, um, this particular card, I see it being more about facing your fears. So I see the lion being kind of the um, the tamed beast. I see the lion representing kind of our inner fears and and the fears that hold us back and keep us from really experiencing life fully and moving forward. And so I think this card is all about being able to to face your fears and not necessarily to conquer them but to be able to really kind of look your fear right in the eye and be able to kind of be willing to to go deep into your fears and learn more about them. So be able to really kind of um, examine your fears and really kind of think about them and, and explore them. Not so much to kind of completely get rid of them, but to, to gain a better understanding of them so that they don't have such a huge hold on you and have so much power over you. So if you feel yourself being held back by anything, or if you're wanting to move forward and do something but you feel um, almost kind of paralyzed, or if you feel like things are really not moving or going anywhere, this can be a really good opportunity for you to kind of look and see if you've got any fears or things um, that are holding you back and, and really kind of examine those. Um, yeah. Okay, so that's all I'm going to say about that one. And moving on to the end of the week, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we've got Eight of Rods. And this card is all about movement, speed, things happening very quickly, uh, and moving forward with things. So I think the card of strength, um, even though the card of strength doesn't traditionally mean um, things being stagnant, I think if things do feel stagnant for you, um, the whole process of examining your fears and really, really learning more about your fears is really going to kind of instigate this quickly moving forward, or this this um, moving forward without obstacles. So I see the Eight of Rods card as being also a card of alignment. So it's kind of when you know the stars line up and everything is perfect, and you've got the kind of right conditions to. Um, you know, go forward with your goal. So if you have a specific goal that you're wanting to achieve or if you're really wanting something to happen, this is a really nice card to get. So it means things are things are kind of moving along to fruition and things are, are going to be happening quickly, things will be unfolding and things are going to be falling into place. So you'll find yourself kind of meeting the right people, um, you know, going to the right places, being in the right place at the right time and having all kinds of opportunities and being able to take advantage of those opportunities. Um, and it can also just mean having a busy weekend. So having a weekend um, where you know, you're on the go and you've got a lot to do and you're very busy and preoccupied, it can also mean that as well. So it has two, two kind of different meanings. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom out here and we'll have a look at all three cards. Yeah, so the beginning of the week you're going to want to Maybe even you know slow your life down a little bit, um, 
you know, go to the beach, relax a little bit more, and really kind of focus on enjoying your food, have a glass of wine, and just kind of kick back and, and don't be too preoccupied about what you need to accomplish or what you need to do for the first, first little few days in the week. And then moving on to the middle of the week, it's the perfect opportunity to really kind of um, dive in head first and um, really look at, at your fears, what's holding you back, and um, really kind of examine any negative voices inside your head. And then towards the end of the week, we see things kind of speeding up and moving along quite nicely. So any kind of work that you do in yourself in the middle of the week is really going to facilitate this um, moving forward. Okay, so that has been your reading for this week, and thank you so much for joining me.